back to my channel. So it's been quite some time since I posted any videos, but uh, I know a lot of you have been DMing me and asking how do we bring our parents uh, or our spouses uh, to visit in Lithuania, especially right after you saw that my mother was in Lithuania this May. like about 20 25 days because yeah she works as a teacher back in uh, india in a in the government school so uh, she only could visit me for like a very short duration but in this video i will explain you how you can actually invite your parents or your um you know your loved ones to come here and uh, do a little bit of touring <laughs> and yeah let's go dive Thanks into the video so my mother is a working a person she's an employee so she works in the government so she works as a teacher so for her to come here in lithuania we had to do a lot of process <laughs> because it's not very easy for a government employee to you know leave india they have to go through a lot of process like getting noc was the biggest problem because it took us about five months or so for her non-objection certificate to get approved so um, that was a really long process and uh once we got that approved um we started the documentation process for the visa so how things are is there are two types of visas so one is a tourist visa which can be applied by you know anybody and number two is a family and friends visa this is issued especially for the inviters family so in my case i am the inviter of my mother so i was a little bit confused because i didn't know whether i should invite my mom on a tourist visa or on a family and friends visa so that is when i did a good thing i did not ask my friends or some youtuber or i did not you know go anywhere but i went to the official migration department of lithuania please make sure that you are not fooled by any youtubers or any person who is a bit popular here giving advices about lithuania and etc etc please do not believe anybody i am posting this video just for information purpose and myself i myself am not an official government authorized consultant make that clear <laughs> So any doubts you have, please direct it to the official government officials and they will help you with the relevant information. So I'm just sharing my experience. You don't have to follow the entire same process that I did step by step. But this is just the general information of what I did. So you will have an idea on, you know, how to process um, the entire uh, bringing in family um, uh, thing so what i did was i called the migration department and i asked them like i showed them my uh, trp card like this is my trp card i don't want to show you the details <laughs> so yeah that's my trp card and um, i gave them the details i gave them all the information and i asked them like i am this particular uh, status holder for example, you can be on a student visa, you can be on a working TRP, Lithuanian TRP, or you can be on a blue card. So I don't want to disclose my um, status here, but um, I gave them my status and and I asked them like if I can invite my mom, because my mom was planning to visit me, uh, if I can invite my mom on a tourist visa or a family and friends visa. 
and they were super nice they were so sweet they gave me like all the information and they guided me to the place in the website so this is the department of migration oh, i'm talking about so if you go to migracia.lt i have put the men i have mentioned the um, website down in the description below so it's migracia.lt that website and they have all the information written for you guys so please do not ask anybody just do your own research just do your dig down and if you're asking please only ask the government officials like you know like the the representative of so and so departments so you get the official information from them and you can clarify your doubts with them please do not ask anybody else because it just doesn't make sense because everybody could just give you a wrong information and it's at the end of the day it's not their loss you know if your parents visa gets rejected so please 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 i'm making this 100 percent 100 percent in your mind i'm just forcing it in your mind do not ask anyone else just ask the representative of so and so departments so so they told me for my status, I cannot uh, invite my parents on a family and friends visa because I should have a PR, which is a permanent residency. So if only then I can invite them on this family and friends visa. And they gave me a thumbs up for um, for the fact that I can I can be an inviter of my mom with tourist visa possibility. So once I got this uh, thumbs up, what I did was um, I started the documentation and just to make sure VFS is the mediator between you and the embassy. Embassy does not ap accept applications directly from you. There is no direct applications that will be collected from the embassy. So you should only go through the VFS global services. So I went to the VFS Global uh, Lithuania in India because my mom is in India and I checked for the tourist visa. There are a list of visas that you can read about and check and everything but I will soon I will soon show you a screen share uh, video of what I am meaning. Go to Google and type VFS Global Lithuania in India. <coughs> And then this is the first website. So just click on that. And in here you can see apply for visa, book an appointment, find a center and premium services. So I'm just gonna click apply for a visa, start now. And then you have like all the information required here, like a step-by-step -step guide. And you can identify what type of visa you will be applying to, prepare your documents, book an appointment, all those things. So I'm going to click on the first identify visa type. So view more. And then here you can read about what is visiting Schengen country and visiting non-Schengen country that details. So here you see the visa type. So this one, I'm just going to click on that. So in this page, you can find the types of visas that you can apply for. So as you see, there are family and friends visa, uh, business visit, tourist visit, study visit, residence permit, work permit, blah, 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 blah. So in my case, since I'm not eligible to apply for a family and friends visa for my mother, I will be choosing the tourist visa. So I'm clicking the tourist visa. And once I click there, I get all the information displayed here. So what is the overview of this visa? What are the fees of this a particular visa? So this is the fees. In the documents and required uh, tab, you can see that all these are the required documents for applying and Lithuanian tourist visa. So they also have provided a checklist here. So tourist visa checklist. And if I download, you can see that number one is a completed and signed visa application form. So the application form is given here in this tab, online application form. So you just have to download this and fill this. And then comes your passport photo, photo size and photo specification tab here. 
shows the photo specification sizes. So they have all the details mentioned here. The photo must be in color, white background. This is the size, look directly in the camera, blah, 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 blah. So all these informations would be given here. And the next is a valid passport. Your passport should be ready with at least two blank pages. Um, it should be within the previous 10 years. So by the time you apply for a visa, your passport should be uh, valid. And then is your health insurance. Health insurance is uh, should, should cover a minimum of 30,000 euros coverage. And the duration of the health insurance must cover the entire stay of your trip that one and then uh, this is the invitation uh, letter from uh, the person who is planning to invite this usually applies uh, for um, PR holders in my case I did not give this So here you see that you have to give like the hotel booking, itinerary, tour itineraries and all those data. All only itineraries. This booking, there is no need to provide the booking confirmations. You just have to show them your booking. Then the proof of means of transport, your flight reservation, which should be a round ticket round ticket that is up and down. So for example, I have to show my mom a flight ticket itinerary from india to lithuania and then after 20 days from lithuania back to india so it should be a round trip proof of lodging this is the hotel reservations and etc etc in my case uh i i made my mom stay with me in my house so it's mentioned that if the applicant intends to stay with a family member then the proof of sponsorship so that is nothing but the housing contract so I gave the Hans housing contract and all those details and then proof of financial means. It should be a bank statement. Uh, what happens uh, is the bank statement can be electronically generated, but it's always better to go to the bank and get a seal and sign from the manager on all the pages of that electronic statement just to be sure. I mean, it's not required, but just to be sure. And then income tax returns. Uh, if you're a salaried person or non-salaried person, this is most important. Uh, income tax return documents must be also sent. Uh, and what you have, the consular fees and then certificate of agency. I mean, if your agency is booking visa for you, then they should be, you know, uh, providing the documents but in my case I just provided mine uh, and my mother and I helped her with all the ticket bookings and everything uh, marriage certificate um, I mean since it's my mother I had to provide a legal uh, document showing that I am her daughter so we got a notarized uh, copy of that so this applied for my mother so this part so since my mom is employed she has to provide her pay slips her employment contract her employer statement or approval of holidays which is nothing but the non-objection certificate if the applicant is a company owner or self-employed then he has to he or she has to provide the registration of the company details uh, and self-sponsorship details and blah 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 if the applicant is minor then uh, if he's traveling with one parent or you know you have to figure out a written consent like all these details are given here copies of the passports of the parents and etc etc so please give this a read and also bear in mind that you also are provided with a checklist which you can you know actually tick yes no yes no yes no and when you are submitting for visa please print this checklist and make sure to tick all the columns with the relevant information like for example you have provided application form tick yes you have provided passport yes you have insurance yes you have an invitation yes you have provided proof of means of flight reservation itineraries yes so you have to do this entire process and once you do that, once you finish gathering all your documents, then we can move to the booking of appointment. So in this booking of appointment, you can just click on book now 
and then it will lead you to a page where you can actually select the time and date well you have to log in it's basically very simple just like a, a, a facebook uh, you know account creation if you don't have an account just click don't have an account then you can just log in and then book the slots you can just find the time date give your passport details select the visa type that you want to book the appointment for and you will book your appointment so once you book an appointment you go to the application center and you can find these are the application centers of VFS visa application centers who are accepting applications for Lithuania. So Delhi, Bangalore, Kolkata, Mumbai and their working hours are given here. So make sure to check this before you book an appointment and then once you can read about like what to do in the center, what to bring with you and all those information. So once you've applied, then you can actually go and track your application in this track now. So here you can just track, click here, track your visa application status and then you will be given a reference number so once you submit a visa application and then you pay your fees and etc etc then you will get a receipt and the receipt will have a visa application number my number started somewhere from uh, yeah reference lh something and the last name of the applicant in this case it was my mom's number and when i click this uh, you know text below like then click submit then I will get the latest application information of you know the status so that's pretty much it and um, my mom got her VFS application with it I mean visa I granted within eight days so it it's was so pretty cool. nice but yes please make sure that you have your documents almost 80 percent ready so you can book an appointment at least one week or one and a half week later so once you do that it's easy just go to the relevant uh, application center submit all your documents i opted for this check and verify services basically i opted for all the services that vfs was recommending me because i didn't want any uh, problem or i didn't want any delay because this check and verify service lets vfs to verify your documents like your bank uh, statements and etc before it leads to the embassy so vfs does some background verifications and stuff so that it's a bit easier for the embassy officers to you know do this um, thing please do subscribe to my youtube channel It'd be really really helpful if you could you know please subscribe and support me because i'm planning to post a lot of videos here from now on one more important thing since i am inviting my mom i also gave uh my passport detail my uh, trp detail i mean which is my uh, residency card detail mm -hmm. and accommodation is something that you have to be very very mindful since my mom was coming here of course she's gonna stay with me so i provided my housing contract like the contract of my house that i am currently uh, in and i also verified with my uh, owner because i had to let him or her know that my mom would be coming and staying so i just checked with them everything was okay they were super friendly they were super fine and etc so i did that and i uh, what did i do right next i gave my bank statements like i i uh, my mom showed approximately like eight lakhs or something in indian rupees uh, in her account um so along with that i showed my bank balance let's see so i showed my bank balance and just as a backup i you know it's just for a backup to say that if we finish all those eight lakhs in her account just you know if that amount gets finito then i will be able to support my mom here with the funds that i have in my account so i had to do that in other cases for example if you're planning to move to uh, poland or, or germany or to do some tour then you need to show them the booking details of the 
of the countries that you would be visiting the hotel bookings and stuff just a booking is fine you don't have to pay just a temporary itinerary for flight ticket is also fine a temporary booking itinerary for the accommodation is also fine because vfs global or the embassies they do not recommend you to pay money and book your flights that's what i was told by them <laughs> so just itinerary is fine because you don't know if you will get a visa accepted or rejected that's number one so please 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 make sure that you don't end up wasting your money uh, even before you get your visas so just book an itinerary and that would be more than enough and submit your applications and to my surprise my mom got her visa in eight calendar days so she got her visa like super super fast and i was so happy that she got her visa uh, it was her first international travel outside you know like she, she it's like her first international travel in her lifetime and i'm so glad that she came over here and i'm so 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 i was so excited you know all those 25 days with my mom was amazing this yeah. is the uh short description of what i went through my experience my process of bringing my mom in lithuania for a tourist visa so let me know if you have any questions again if you have any official questions please direct it to the migration department the description has all the information about the the government department which is the migration department which handles these type of queries if you have some uh other information which is not very you know core topic then just leave it down to me i can respond if i'm not responding soon in the youtube comments please do write me a dm on instagram or on linkedin or facebook i'm active on all three so i will try to reply you at the earliest possible stay tuned please show your love share subscribe and like to like my videos and i will see you soon in my next video so yeah thank you so much and i hope you have a lovely day night evening whatever <laughs> bye take